How do I set up the newsletter section of my Premium Pro Steam? Well, let me show you how. In front of me, we have the auction team, but this video can be used for all of the Premium Pro Steams. To start with, we're gonna log into the admin area. Okay, we click on Premium Press, we click on Email, and all of the newsletter options are found here. So we have things like Send Newsletter, Newsletter Settings, Subscribers, etc. So if we click on Newsletter Settings to start with, here is where we go ahead and configure our newsletter. So if we're gonna be using the system built into the theme, we make sure this one's turned on. So we turn on the newsletter system here. Again, we tell the system to use the built-in one. So these two need to be on to start with. Okay, then we set up our newsletter confirmation email. So this is sent to a user when they subscribe to your, new, uh, to your newsletter. And the um, within the confirmation email, there's what we call a short code. This short code is brackets, link brackets. And that is their special code that'll be sent to the user to confirm them joining your newsletter. Okay, underneath that we have what we call a thank you page and a subscriber page, unsubscribe page. And these are custom links that you can set up to send the user to that page after they've subscribed to your newsletter. So basically when the user clicks on the link um, within their email to confirm their subscription, they'll be directed to this thank you page. So go ahead and create your own page in WordPress and then copy paste the link that you want them to be sent to. And it's the same concept with the unsubscribe page. When they unsubscribe from your website or your newsletter, they will then be sent to this kind of sorry to see you go website link here. Um, that's what we call the unsubscribe page link. So it's a very, very basic concept. They join the um, newsletter options on your website. So let's take a quick look. Okay, if we scroll to the bottom, okay, as you can see here, we have this subscribe form here or in my footer, I have a newsletter form here. So if we just fill this information in, okay. It was going to say, go, email confirmation sent. So what that's going to do is going to send this um, email confirmation to the user. In the admin again, under email, I just click on email. Under email um, subscribers, okay, we can see anyone that's currently actively subscribed. As they haven't confirmed their email yet, they haven't been subscribed or added to our subscriber list. Now, if you do have a list of your own subscribers, you can click on add subscriber and then manually um, enter them or you could use the subscriber import tool to import all of your subscribers in one go. And this, for example, would be one per line. So we've got example here, and then we could put example uh, two, three, four, click on import subscribers. Okay, and then under newsletter subscribers, you can now see all of your subscribers. So it's a very, very concept, a uh, very basic concept for a newsletter list. Um, we do recommend obviously third party email providers just to stop spam on your website, but a lot of people still use um, the built in newsletter system. Again, and if we go out to email, just take another look. If you wanted to use a third party subscriber list, for example, let's click on newsletter settings. Let's turn off the built in newsletter system. Okay, save changes. Now I can enter my own custom code. So what you'll normally find with things like Aweber or mailing lists or any other third party provider is that they'll provide you with a HTML code or JavaScript code that you copy and paste into your website. So you basically copy and paste the code into this box here and that way that will be then displayed within the actual sections of the website that would normally display the newsletter list here. So there we go, very quick and very easy. How do I set up newsletters within my website? Well, you do it in the admin area under email and click on newsletters. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something, please give it a thumbs up and I'll keep creating content just like this one. Thank you and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.